on this week's episode of Theme Park Worldwide, the show, exciting news from Motion Gate Dubai as they announced the world's first Ghostbusters ride set to open later this year. I've also got some brilliant news from Fun Spot over in Florida, and I'll be talking to you about a brand new Alpine coaster coming next year to us here in the UK. I'm Sean Sandbrook, this is Theme Park Worldwide, the show, and that means it's time to cue those titles. And as ever, a very warm welcome to this week's episode of Theme Park Worldwide, the show. Now, I always started by talking a little bit about the weather throughout the week. And I've moaned the past two weeks saying, oh, it's been rainy, it's been cloudy, where's the summer? Well, tonight I'm filming this show in 28 degrees, uh, you know, because it's absolutely roasting here at TPWHQ. Finally, this week, the good weather came out. And it was a really good job that it did, because over 100 Theme Park Worldwide fans came to Blackpool Pleasure Beach on Saturday for our second event of 2016. We had an absolutely amazing day and it was great to see all of you guys that really support us here at Theme Park Worldwide come along uh, and have a fantastic day. Literally over 100 people. In fact, here's a couple of group photos. So here's one at the start of the day. We're just waiting for a few more people to join at this point. Uh, but here's one outside Valhalla, uh, which we did ride on the day. It was really, really hot. The weather was lovely. Uh, so there you go. That's a good group photo there. And then we had this second one taken in the afternoon around 2 o'clock outside Wallace and Gromit Thrillomatic. And look at that. Over 100 people turned out to our event and it was great to see each and every one of you uh, out there of course it was our second event this year we did one at Drayton Manor uh, back in May we've had this one and we will be doing a third event at Thorpe Park Fright Nights the date for that will be announced in next week's on location episode of the show which will be from Europa Park so it's going to be good you'll be able to join me and Charlotte next week uh, as we go through all the details at Europa along with sharing with you guys uh, of course the details on our third event of the year at Thorpe Park Fright Nights just a heads up it, of course it's going to be on October this year and it's also going to be held on a Sunday instead of a Saturday. The reasoning because of this is because Thorpe Park Fright Nights get so busy I want us to be able to make the most of the day the most we can. Uh, with that event obviously it is going to be a lot of scare mazes along with the roller coasters and other thrill rides at Thorpe Park. Uh, so there you go it is going to be a big sort of Halloween screen park worldwide event. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys there. We'll have a date for you next week along with putting it as an event on our Facebook page. So make sure you check it out uh, Facebook Theme Park Worldwide Wide, drop us a like while you're there. We're nearly on 10,000 likes now on our Facebook page, which is great. It's shop up a lot this year, so make sure you get yourselves over there and check it out for our third event of the year, which will be coming later on in 2016. Like I say, though, a big thank you to each and every one of you that made the effort to come up all the way to Blackpool. I know some of you come from Cornwall, Devon. It was fantastic to meet you guys. And like I say, what a really good day that I'm going to treasure forever. It's always good to meet the guys out there that love Theme Park Worldwide and all the dedicated fans of the channel. I know there's a lot of you that couldn't make it as well and a lot of you that want to make one in the future. So it'd be great to see you guys. Get yourselves down there and the vlog from that trip uh, and the event will, of course, be online in the next couple of days here on the channel, along with another vlog from Pleasure land in Southport so there you go anyway quite a bit to get through this week in news off the rails so let's get straight in with this week's news Now you might think you've experienced some of the best roller coasters out there in the world. You might think you've been on some of the rides that really take you out of control and on the edge of your seat. But have you ever experienced the thrill of an alpine coaster? I've only ever done two or three myself and literally I can't wait because we're getting one here in the UK and it's going to open in early 2017 at Zip World. Now if you've never heard of Zip World, it's in Wales and it's literally home to a massive zip wire that goes across between two sort of rock areas. You've got an indoor trampoline in some caverns. It looks absolutely absolutely crazy. I want to get out there as soon as I can next year and literally planned permission has been passed for a one kilometre long uh, alpine coaster. I mean, what more could we want? Mainland Europe's got a lot of these going on. Yes, you got ones that are like two and a half, three kilometres long, but this is a good start, and I'm sure if it's popular for Zip World, then they'll look at getting a bigger one. If you're thinking, what the hell is Sean going on about? This is an Alpine coaster. So there's one that is currently in operation out there in Europe. Uh, and look at that there. You know, they can traditionally sort of seat one person, uh, and then they go down uh, on rails, through trees, on elevated tracks, and they've got supports and everything. They look crazy, you know. They might even get tunnels on it. Who knows? The possibilities with this kind 
down the thing are endless and I'm looking forward to seeing this down at Zip World next year. It's going to be the first of its kind in the UK which is very very exciting and like you say you know we don't really get these sort of things in the UK so I'm looking forward to seeing that. I mean obviously you can see there it's not like your standard bobsleigh coaster like Avalanche at Blackpool and uh, maybe even the bobsleigh uh, down at Oakwood. Yeah, it's nothing like that. It's something very different so I'm looking forward to that coming to the UK. Uh, well a similar version to that coming to the UK uh, next year 2017 and of course we'll cover it here on the channel. Now moving on to Fun Spots over in Florida. Now Fun Spot is a park that, I'll be honest, I'd never really heard of until I was going over there. You wouldn't go to Florida, especially from the UK, and think, oh, I'm going to go over to Fun Spot. You know, you just wouldn't do it. It's got a suspended family coaster from Vacoma. It's got a GCI wooden coaster. Uh, you know, it's not got an absolute low going for it, but it's got some good flat rides, go-karts, that kind of thing as well, Sky Coaster. Uh, but... You know, you wouldn't go over there for it unless you're already there for like Universal, Disney, SeaWorld, that kind of thing. However, this, is, you know, it's sounding exciting. They've already got two parts. They've got one on International Drive and then one down in Kissimmee. Uh, now, both of them have got the go-karts, a variation of flat rides. They've both got sky coasters. However, one of them's got the world's tallest sky coaster. I've not been to that one, but me and Chris will be there in September doing a vlog and checking it out. So, yeah, we did the one on Blackpool Pier the other night after the event. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't manage to catch that on camera because uh, that was sort of after hours at like 11 o'clock at night. But, you know, it was great. So, we'll definitely get there uh, down to Kissimmee me this September we're going to try out the world's tallest sky coaster I believe it's like 300 foot tall or something silly so look forward to giving that a go but yes they have announced that they're going to open a third park in the next few years I mean they've already got big plans for the one on International Drive which is the largest of the two sites uh, but it's looking like uh, you know they're going to open this third park I mean how exciting, you know, I mean, they're taking on Disney and Universal in a smaller way, I mean, these are good fun parks, they're not that expensive to get in, um, but, well, you pay for wristbands or tokens, you know, they're quite cheap to do. Uh, here's a couple of shots, actually, from the fun spot parks over there uh, in Orlando at the moment. Uh, so like I say, it's going to be the third theme park out in Florida. The location's still unknown at the moment, and we still don't know what attractions this is actually going to include. Uh, but like I say, it's probably going to have a sky coaster, go karts. They might even do something different with this one, so who knows? Uh, we'll keep you up to date here on the channel, and of course we'll have a couple of vlogs from Fun Spots uh, when we're over in Orlando this September, a couple of months away now, so it's going to be really, really good. Uh, where me, Chris, and Dean for some of it as well. Dean's going to be over there for some of the trip. Uh, he's going to be experiencing uh, all these attractions. It's going to be really Really good and I can't wait to share it with you guys here on Theme Park Worldwide. Finally then, Ghostbusters. Oh, have you been to see the movie? It's great. But a Ghostbusters dark ride is set to open at Motion Gate in Dubai this October. So yes, this looks absolutely stunning. So I'll put a picture of the ride vehicles up next to you there. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we've got a world's first ride based on Ghostbusters. How awesome is that? I know there's a lot of Ghostbusters fans out there, especially if you've seen the new movie. And yeah, it's looking like this is going to be awesome. It's going to be an interactive trackless dark ride system. Ooh, so kind of Ratatouille style, Disneyland Paris trackless, but it's saying it's going to be interactive as well. So obviously you're going to shoot things and stuff on it when you're going round. Hopefully there's going to be some good theming in there and not too many screens. But what does give me hope is state-of-the-art special effects and projection mapping inside as well. So... Uh, projection mapping something that I absolutely love it's literally when they well they project things onto objects that stick out like the Smilers queue line for example at Alton Towers that kind of thing you know the indoor section there so that you know I like the correction blocks so hopefully this on a bigger scale it's very exciting for Motion Gate the whole project over there looks great at Dubai parks and resorts I've talked about it before here on the channel but yeah it's looking like this is going to be good and one to follow here on the channel uh, so basically a bit of the history on the rise so you're going to be uh, transport Transporting guests on the rooftops of New York City. Um, you know, so this is sort of the background. Really. Not really the history, the background of the ride. How can it be history when it's not even open? I don't know. You know what I'm like. Um, literally, panel activity begins as soon as you get on your own ectopod vehicle. Uh, there you go. And that's the vehicle you can see on the photo just there. Uh, and then, like I say, you've got these state of the art effects. So it's going to make it a very exciting addition out there to Motion Gates. I look forward to hopefully getting out there very, very soon. That is all in this week for News Off The Rails. It's now time for Merch Paradise. Well, 
welcome to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Your room's not ready yet, but we have still got time for Merch Paradise. So, literally, a little bit of Tower of Terror acting there. Uh, literally, this is a bell uh, from Tower of Terror. Obviously, it's not one from the actual ride, but it's what you can buy in the gift shop. I mean, I absolutely love the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. I think it's a fantastic attraction. And yeah, you know, like this is one of them pieces of merchandise that I just wanted as soon as I saw it. I've got various different things from the ride. Uh, you know, and the bell is just a very iconic thing, isn't it, from that ride? I mean, it sits there in the reception area. And yeah, you know, it's just a cool little thing as well. It means, you know, when Charlotte's going to bring me my tea, I can just go, did you bring it? <laughs> no, I'm not that mean. Uh, but there you go. Literally a nice little bell there uh, from the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. I got this one from Disneyland Paris actually, but I've done the version of California and of course I've done the original uh, in Hollywood Studios in Florida. Can't wait to be back on the original in a couple of months time. And of course it'll be Chris's first time riding that one over at uh, Hollywood Studios. So it's gonna be great to see. Obviously Hollywood Studios has shrunk a little bit since I last visited a couple of years ago in 2014. Uh, obviously a lot's closed in there like Moses Action, Stunt Show Spectacular, uh, the Tram Tour, uh, you know, loads things have closed there but we're still going to go in the park have a good time and of course share a vlog with you guys we'll also check up on the construction uh, of star wars land and also toy story land as well as i'm sure there'll be more developments going on when we're there in september it's now time for ask me anything questions 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 everywhere Okay, so it's time for Ask Me Anything, and the first question comes from Matthew Chapman. Hi, Matthew. And the question is, how many annual passes do I currently own and have I bought over time? Well, the question is, I don't have a clue how many I've bought over time, but, you know, it's a hell of a lot. Bear in mind, I've had an Alton Towers annual pass, or a million pass, two souls pass, whatever you want to call it, over the years, since the late 90s, uh, since I was a kid, so that's a long time. I've had passes for Drayton Manor for about five, six years, Blackpool Pleasure Beach around eight years, uh, a lot of parks abroad have had a Disneyland Paris pass, a Port Ventura pass, Europa Park pass for four or five years. I've had a lot, so we're talking, what, 40, 50 passes over the years? At the moment, I currently own a Merlin Annual Pass, a Drayton Manor Pass, a uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach Pass, Fantasyland Pass, and I will be, as of this week, getting my Europa Park Pass back as well. A good tip with annual passes, though, is literally, if you buy the ones out in Europe, like Fantasyland or Europa Park or Port Ventura, they all come with free entry to various other parks, like Leesburg, etc. So make sure you check it out on the park website, because if you are visiting, it might be cheaper to get a pass. So so there you go, thanks for your question. Adam Brooks has asked, if I could reopen Camelot, what rides would you put in and why? Well, first off, I keep Nightmare. You know, I love Nightmare, I can't believe it's still sitting there. Hopefully it'll get shipped off to Southport though at some point, as you'll see in the Pleasureland vlog, you know, which is quite emotional seeing that place now. Uh, you know, and seeing it all revived again, which is good to see. But, you know, I'd keep that, I'd put in a big wooden roller coaster theme to like Jousting Nights or something like that. I love the theme of Camelot, it was a really unique place and yeah, I miss it very sadly, but thank you very much for your question there. Uh, Owen Holt has asked, when do you think uh, your Thought Park, your park, Thought Park, will have their next major coaster? I wish it was your park, Owen. Well, what do I think they're going to do and when? I think they're going to add a Rocky Mountain construction roller coaster. I'd like to think they would. I think it'd be a brilliant move for Thought Park, massive thrill park. They haven't got a woody. Technically, RMC isn't full wood, but... I'd let them off. It'd be brilliant. I'd love seeing RMC. Get rid of Logger's Leap. RMC all round there. It'd be amazing. If you don't have a clue what I'm going on about again when I say RMC, Rocky Mountain Construction are responsible for rides such as Wildfire at Colmarden, Twisted Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mountain, and various other rides that have opened, especially the Joker this year as well that's opened. You know, some great rides out there, what they've done. I'd love to see that in the UK. And if any part's going to get it, Thought Park. So there you go. Thank you very much. And my ghost train. <laughs> Hopefully more of you guys have got on uh, Darren Brown's ghost train. Like I say, if you want some spoilers and want to know what happens, check out the vlog uh, that we put on a couple of weeks ago when we were there just after the ride uh, soft opened. Uh, and then finally, Maximilian, a hey, good name, uh, has asked, is there a ghost there out there that I want to ride? Yes, there is. Karnan at Hansa Park. It's only got one inversion, but it looks absolutely fantastic. The theming's gradually been added as well. It's got a massive structure, a massive drop inside a building. It looks stunning. So yes, Karnan is a Gerslauer that I want to get on, and it probably will be my favourite Gerslauer. I can sort of predict that from how it looks, but there you go. Thank you for your question there. Uh, Maximilian, like I say, if you've got any questions, send them in to us here at Theme Park World wide send it into the admin charlotte by the usual way you can email it's ask at themeparkworldwide.co.uk or you can send them as a private message over on our facebook page <music> ask me 
As we always end theme park worldwide, the show, it is time for Interact with me. So let's have a look at what you guys want sharing on this week's episode of the show. First off, you've got Lawrence Bennett with a 13 on ride photo. William Tedstone is there at Universal Studios in Orlando. Next up, we've got Edward with his children at Port Aventura. Also at Port Aventura then, you've then got Bobby. Thank you very much for sharing your photos, guys. Sarah Armstrong with a family at Thomas Land at Drayton Manor. Oh, what a great photo. Thanks for sharing. Love Thomas Land. You've got Owen with the Tower of Terror on ride photo. And then you've also got Jess Bennett with the Valhalla on ride photo from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Good to see you, Jess, at the event on Saturday. It was a really good day. Hope you enjoyed it. Next up, we've had people who've had photos with me and other vlog stars. You've got Owen Thompson. You've then got Darren, Chris Johnson. Uh, also had a photo with me and Lee. So there you go. Thanks for that. Uh, William. And then so you've got Anna there, looking good there. Thanks for sharing the photos. Uh, you've then got Thomas Heron. There you go. Oh, look at that. Good photo. Thanks for sharing. And then you've also got Jonathan as well. Thanks, guys. If you do see me out there at the park, stop me for a photo. I don't bite, and we'll have it here in theme park or wide the show. So thanks for sharing those. Uh, next up, you've got a bit of merchandise. You've got Charlie Brooks with a magnet collection. You've got Daniel Lambra with a merchandise collection there as well. Thanks for sharing those. And also, back again, William Tedstone with Falcon's Fury mug. I've also got that myself here at the World of Theme Parks. So thank you very much for sharing that with me. Okay, happy birthdays to the following people from all of us here at Theme Park Worldwide. To Natasha, Jason, David and Evan as well. There you go. Happy birthday to all of you and thank you for watching Theme Park Worldwide the show. Got a birthday shout out, got some photos to send in. All you need to do is message them on the Theme Park Worldwide Facebook page. Make sure you drop us a like whilst you're there as well. And also you can email them in. It's interact at themeparkworldwide.co.uk. That means it is the end of this week's episode of Theme Park Worldwide, the show. Hope you've enjoyed it. Next week, we've got an on-location episode. We're closing the doors here at the World of Theme Parks and heading over to Europa Park, where we'll have an episode all about the park from the brand new island themed area. We'll be back in Iceland, my favourite themed area at the park, and also around the hotels at the resort as well. Thank you for watching. I'm Sean Sandbrook, and that means it's time to cue those credits. See you later, guys. Have an awesome week.